who is more desperate for the first overall pick. And if I'm omitting a team that I should be putting in there ahead of these two, then by all means, like tweet it at us, give me the argument for it. But I think you and I both agree that the two most desperate teams in hockey to land Rasmus Dahlin is are the Buffalo Sabres and the Ottawa Senators. I concur. It just, I think maybe you could push for a a, a case for the Oilers or the Habs because they well, really care. Maybe no, even. Well, no one's going to vote for the Oilers unless you're from Oil Town. So the reason that I've excluded the Oilers and the Habs is because they still do have superstar players. Like as long as the Canadians have Carey the, Price and that foundation. The Habs, we could throw the Habs in there. But Habs aren't going to have trouble with selling tickets. No. So that's why I'm taking them out. I yep. mean, if you just look at their hockey team, absolutely. That's a defense that is bleeding, especially yeah. with Shea Weber out of the lineup. That's a defense that is bleeding. That's a team that's an organization right now, except for the well-dressed Mark Bergevin that you absolutely love. The, I do love him. I hope he stays the GM of the for the great, rest of time. Great TV. <laughs> but it, they, aren't going, they aren't going anywhere. We don't have to worry about the Montreal market. You know, if it happened in Toronto and Toronto was in this situation, we wouldn't be worrying about Toronto in that fact because they sell out. Mm -hmm. Ottawa's getting 14, just over 14,000 last night. I didn't think that they can get back to that level. I thought everything just went. They had great goaltending from Craig Anderson. Mm -hmm. He's been very bad this He's, year. He looks done. Carlson, arguably top three defenseman in the world. Hasn't been very good. Hasn't looked like it. Like, at all. Now, maybe it's the Achilles. Maybe it's his, his surgery that he had that could all play into it. You go down, the Duchesne for tourists. Nothing has worked out. Everything has went the complete polar opposite of what they were expecting. They need a new building. They have an owner who's holding court on their most important weekend of the year. I just think it's ugly. I think everything, that, and again, you, yeah, you mentioned that. The tourist trade, the building, the owner, the yeah, animosity everything. between yeah. them and their big star, the uncertainty about the future of having a guy like Mark Stone in your lineup a couple of years from now, the uncertainty of having a guy who's a tr transformational player in Eric Carlson out of your lineup in a couple of years. And Matt you Duchesne, who you just gave up, Shane Bowers for your first-round pick last year. First round pick next year that could be a lottery pick. They, they're going to they're have to protect it this year. Yeah, this year Obviously. it's top 10 protected, yeah. but next year. They're going to protect it this year, and then it's not protected next year. Oh. I mean, talk about a class. And then Duchesne could actually walk. Yeah. So, essentially, I, I think Stone is the only one that stays. 